Good evening, everyone. Today I will be sharing the fourth and hopefully final video in my Otakon review and debriefing series. By the time you are watching this, I will have done three videos on this topic already. So, I implore you to watch those first, since I will be starting off right where I left off in the third video. I woke up bright and early Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. The con only went until 3 p.m., so I wanted to make sure I got there at opening to fully experience the last day, and to make sure I had bought everything I wanted to. Because of the rave and packing, I only got about three hours of sleep the prior night. Before leaving, I helped my mom bring down the suitcases, and we checked out. Checkout was at 11, so I would not be back in time for it later. We ended up checking seven bags between the both of us, 95% of it being my stuff. My mom only brought a few clothes and toiletries. Everything else is mine. I got to the convention center around 10.30 a.m. Guess what? Another line! This time, the line was for those who had badges and wristbands. Since it was Sunday, most attendees had both already. I also cut far in front of the line, simply because of how unorganized it was. There were no signs or anything to point us into the right direction. I hopped onto the line, and someone in front of me informed me that the line started all the way back there and wrapped around the building. Almost as bad as the line to get badges was on Friday and Saturday. I was already online, so I decided to stay where I was. There were also others who came from the same direction as me who did the same thing. It was terrible. This has got to be the worst organized line to get into a con I have ever seen. Because I cut the line, it only took me 15 minutes to get in. I was in by 10.45 a.m. I went straight back to the dealer's room. Because of the overcrowding and bottlenecking on Saturday, I never got to finish my shopping. I wanted to do one last round of the room to make sure I bought everything I wanted. I also ate lunch here. Yep, another DC style sub. I didn't even finish it this time. I ended up taking it home and eating it the next day. Guess I wasn't that hungry. Around noon, I made my way into the artist alley. Same deal, I did one last round of the alley and finished buying everything I wanted. Since it was Sunday, it was not as crowded as it was Saturday. Not many people go on Sundays. After I completed my shopping, I met up with some friends for a short time. One of them was going on a date, so we took a few selfies and she left. I tried making my way into the maid cafe, but the line was too long. I decided it wasn't worth it since I'm not into karaoke and that was the focus of the cafe. At 2 p.m., I went up to give a complaint to the control panel. They were super nice and I went over the situation from the night before. They were not the higher ups, of course, so the representative logged my incident and stated that she would give it to the higher ups. Unfortunately, because of my train, I was unable to attend the con feedback panel at 4. But I left my contact with them. If they want to discuss anything mentioned in this review, my inbox is open. This only took 30 minutes. So at 2.30 p.m., I met up with another friend. We took some photos and headed out since the con was practically over at this point. She stayed since she also had some feedback to give them. Her train wasn't until later that night. I was back to my hotel by 3. My mom was waiting in the lobby. I squished my new purchases into my bags and we proceeded to head home. This has nothing to do with the con, but the escalators at the station were not working. One of the security guards had us going on a goose chase to find a working escalator. We finally found one, but after 10 minutes of running around with suitcases. We also tried getting help from a lady in the station, but she was too lazy to get off her butt and help us. She was playing with her hair and everything. She wasn't doing her job at all. Yeah, I'm not really that impressed with the people of DC. We finally got on our subway, got on our train, and headed back home. We got back around 9 p.m. We were so tired that we just passed out upon returning. This concludes my Otakon adventure. I do hope this offers another perspective on the con. There were many things they did right, but the overcrowding, lack of organization, rude staff, and incompetence really outweigh any positives about this con. All in all, it wasn't worth it. Paid for lodging and transport only for a mediocre, at best, con. I could have gotten a similar or even better experience here in NYC without the extra money spent on hotel and transport. Even if we had endless money, it was not worth the general stress of traveling. The packing, the schlepping, the will my train leave on time, and the 
while I make it to my destination in one piece. I couldn't even buy as much because I had to keep in mind the fact that I need to get it home. I crossed so many good vendors off my list for the simple reason of I can't get this home. I gave it a fair shot. I really wanted to like this con. After hearing so many great things from my peers here in NYC, I expected it to be better than this, but no, it's just another con in a different city. Otakon, if you want to see me in the future, you need to get your act together. The rave incident was unacceptable. You need to train your staff better. The con was an unorganized mess, and until you fix these issues, I will not be returning.